I need my game master to please retrieve a bin of blocks, and I need my supply master to retrieve your supplies. Constantly challenging kids in the classroom affects learning depending on the challenge, and I think at Quest, which is something that really drew me to Quest and what we do really well is that in each class we challenge them in different ways so they don't always know what to expect which is totally different than the traditional classroom which I've never seen any other school do or do well. Caterpillar is a board game. It uses dice and it uses uh, colored blocks and you can play it with either two, three, or four people. The goal is to create the longest caterpillar. But when you record the dice rolls, you are looking for something called the bomb. So the bomb is the most frequently rolled number. And as you play, you figure out that the most frequently rolled numbers are towards the middle, so you're five, six, seven, and eight. And you try to build as much around it as possible so that you can get more blocks. But in the end, if that number blows, all of your caterpillar pieces go with it. So it's, a, it's, it's using skill, but it's also using chance. It depends who the players are you're playing with because some are really good and some like, you know, are like me, like beginners because I usually don't win every round of Caterpillar that I play. I usually win like out of five only once or twice. But yeah, it depends on the person. It doesn't depend on the game, but on the person. When you have problems that are just out of your reach in school or in life, you learn how to roll with the punches and figure out, okay, I have this skill set and I just learned this from this past challenge and now this past challenge is solved but I have this other challenge over here and if it's constantly changing and you have these skill sets that are also adapting and changing with you giving them things that are just out of their reach requires them to to build that that like mental muscle it strengthens something whether it's your mind or physically and if, I, if we gave them challenges that just met where they are, their, their toolbox, their mental toolbox would never grow. It's also fun building out your caterpillar and seeing how much land you can like preserve for yourself. Like I, I always enjoy conquering the most land and feel that I've really accomplished something. I can't speak for any other discipline, but I know in math it's, it's allowed me to see really quickly and easily where my students are and what their weaknesses are and what their, their strengths are and what, um, what they're being asked to do. And a lot of times you, you fail at giving them the right challenge problem. And it's through that failure that you, that you learn how to adjust and you learn what you're looking for. Without challenge, it would just be like, in a game for example, it would just be like, it doesn't really matter who wins and it won't be as fun. A pillar is fun to play because um, the game is challenging and you want to have the longest caterpillar at the end of the game be after the bomb explodes. It's always about what one will be rolled the most and which one will be the bomb and getting away from that area and getting to an area that will also be rolled a lot but not as much. The toughest part of, of teaching and of doing anything where you want anybody to learn, it's about knowing where your students are and knowing what their limits are at the moment and, and stretching that limitation. Because I don't care what end of the spectrum you're on. I don't care if you know everything in middle school math. I can find something to challenge you. And I promise you I will, and it will be tough.